Hello everyone. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm sweating and we haven't even started. So something happened and um, I've just been getting a lot of questions about it. I have recently acquired something special. I acquired these along with the complete first edition base set. Like all, all of the cards. I'm just gonna put these down. I took the big three out because I was scared, but you can kind of see i like i don't plan on storing it this way this is just until i get something better can you see any of this here's what happened on sunday i got a call from a local card store that i frequent very often too often probably so we bought from them we traded with them we've sold stuff to them before we've gotten to know them a little bit they had just gotten in a really like cool Japanese collection that someone had just traded in. We collect high-end Japanese stuff and they thought we'd appreciate it. So we went in, we walk in and it's pretty busy. We say a hi, but they're like, just wait a minute. And we kind of notice like they're not bringing out right away what they wanted to show us. They're kind of waiting for the crowd to clear a little bit. So a few people left, kind of settled down. We were just looking around and then they were like, okay, come here. And they're like, which one do you want to look at? The like kind of okay binder, the good binder, or the really good binder. So we start flipping through the okay binder and it is like way better than okay. It was like high-end vintage Japanese stuff. They had Neo stuff, they had base set stuff. So we go to binder number two. There's like minty Neo hollows in there. There's high-end promos. So then we finally get to binder number three like he just puts it on the freaking table and opens it if you know base set you know like charizard is here and blastoise is here venusaur is over here somewhere but like there was a first edition charizard in a binder just like looking at me i'd never seen one in person before i'd never seen like all of this in one spot before so i wasn't really sure what to do kind of felt like i was gonna pass out a little bit that time like one or two other people had kind of been like What's going on over there? So they kind of came over. We're all chatting as a group about, you know, vintage Pokemon. And then finally the question came up, how much for the first edition base set binder? I don't know. I don't even think it was me who asked it. I think it was someone else. So the conversation then turned towards like conditions of the cards, what some of them had recently sold for. And then they said this. Probably the lowest would be 22 grand. Oh. That's what? Than I was getting. Yeah. No, Canadian. Because that's just me calculating the foil. I haven't calculated any of the common deal. I don't know if you can hear me and they're just being like, what? They were willing to talk to us about letting it go between twenty two dollars to $25,000. I mean, that is a ridiculous amount of money. Like, it's coming out of my mouth and I know it sounds like ridiculous, but like, that's how much you see for just the Charizard sometimes. Obviously, in my head, I was like, you know, that's amazing, unobtainable. And then they were like, yeah, but don't forget, you know, like we do trade-ins, like we take high-end stuff. You could like cut the price down a little bit, like in half, if you had a bunch of stuff, then you would only be paying this much. Or like you could trade in and for the whole entire thing. When the crowd dispersed a little bit, I kind of like was like, so you would actually like maybe trade this for like, $25,000 worth of stuff? And they were like, yeah, yeah. I had a very interesting decision to make, which was, do I trade in like 80%, 90% of my collection for this first edition binder? So we made a plan with them to come back. We went home. We went through our entire collection. We made a yes, we're willing to trade this, no problem. A maybe if we have to trade it in pile and then a no stuff we're not willing to trade in pile. Um, so then we put everything together, we put it in a bunch of boxes, and we brought it back to Kansan. It was pretty much closing time for them, which was great. They got to like, we could close and lock the door because we had a ton of stuff out just like on the tables. Didn't really want anyone I didn't know walking in there. We started pricing everything. Um, including like their stuff too, like they walked us through how they priced it and we just wanted to make sure everything was fair on both sides. You know, trades that are that big can get really complicated as I'm sure some of you know. So after everything was priced out, uh, we went home without the binder. We took everything back and we all slept on it. The next morning, 
I messaged them and said we're like so in. You just think to yourself like, how else will you ever get this opportunity? The next day, we went in with all of our stuff again. We handed everything off to them. We walked out with this binder and that is the story. I'm gonna protect you, give you a nice long life. <laughs> if you guys wanna check out Kansan, I will leave their link in the below. Go make friends. <laughs> yeah, it is truly wild. Uh, uh, guess that's it, you know, subscribe. Uh, leave any comments or questions below, you know, except don't f tell me that all of these are proxies or some sh you know, like just just buy Just don't okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye